Warning, this movie is gross. The subject matter is disgusting. The images and concepts are graphic. You may not want to eat anything for a while. And please remember, this is only a movie. And do not try any of this at home. You weirdo. Body horror is nothing new. It's a subgenre that usually involves graphic depictions of human body transformation, but more likely destruction. Movies like The Fly, Alien, Videodrome may seem tame by comparison to today's entries, like Saw, and Saw 2, and Saw 3, and Saw 4, and, and so on. Oh god, this movie. I saw it when it first came out because the premise sounded so weird, so fascinating, so crazy. Look at this poster. That looks horrifying. I should have known. This is what I look like right after I saw it. I skipped the sequels. I even tried not to think about this one anymore. But it's always there, in the back of my mind. And it seemed to have stamped itself a place in pop culture. I couldn't get away. I was expecting a typical old school monster movie like The Fly. Or maybe some Kafka-esque nightmare. Or even something a bit more mainstream. I was wrong. I hope you're not eating. This is the Human Centipede, first sequence. Welcome to Germany, where creepy men sit in their cars and... Oh, thank God, he's only looking at pictures of... dogs? A slight bit of foreshadowing that just leaves me to wonder how will Ubu sit? What now? This better involves surgically connected dogs. And does a trucker shit in the woods? Maybe. We'll never know because he doesn't let him finish. Be very quiet. I'm hunting twakas. Ha 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 Dick move, man. Two American tourists, Lindsay, played by Ashley C. Williams, and Jenny, played by Ashlyn Yenny, are trying to get to a nightclub, but get lost and then they suffer car trouble. It's okay. It's a rental. They're lost, their car broken down, and no cell service. And the auto club is a little iffy. Like a good neighbor, rim job is there. Because tourists and movies are so sensible, they walk through the woods. Just keep an eye out for Jason, the Blair Witch, and that tree from the Evil Dead. We came from over here, I swear. How but do if... you know that? All the trees look the same. And they find help. Ah, shit. This guy again. Meet Dr. Joseph Heiter, played by Dieter Laser. <laughs> that was a really hard line to get right. This man is a walking red flag. Something to drink? Um, uh, water's fine. Yeah, just water. Two roofie coladas coming up. Here, drink this and don't complain. German water is naturally bitter. I don't like human beings. Did I mention he's a doctor? Hey now, roofies are expensive! I mean, my grandmother's rug. I guess we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Lindsay drank all her water, so she's down. What's the wrong? rape drag. Oh God. What? What? Rohat Noel. Oh my God. He's so upfront about it. That leaves Jenny. Ah, shit. My rug is ruined. They wake up captive with the trucker, who he kills right away because he's not a match for the two girls, or his insurance ran out. But not to worry, he's soon replaced by Katsuro, played by Akihiro Kitamura. We finally get an explanation. Long story short, he was a surgeon specializing in separating Siamese twins. It's nice to see villains explain their evil plans so clearly. Visual aids really do help. Next time I would suggest PowerPoint. Now he wants to attach people and make an all-new being. I'm not sure it works like that, but I have to admire his attention to detail. You never go ass to mouth! Right now he's just describing what he's planning. Using really crude drawings, it's almost childish. Not a single incision has been made yet. And he's so matter-of-fact and their reactions of pure horror makes this a really disturbing scene. And it just seems to keep going. You know, whoever's in the back gets the short end of the stick. The ones in back have to eat the front ones, shit! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna share something with you. Whenever I get really grossed out by this kind of stuff, like operations, appendixes, and stuff like that, I seem to lose strength in my hands. I can't make a fist as firmly as I usually can, and 
it's it's been like this ever since I was little. I googled it, and apparently it happens to other people, and it's kind of like a lighter version of fainting. So instead of fainting, I lose strength in my hands. I hope this brings us closer. Of course, the buildup is excruciating. Lindsay tries to escape, but she really doesn't get very far. Ugh, I would love an indoor pool. That's not a joke, I just always wanted one. I bet it's heated. Oddly, the lights go out and the doctor runs off to deal with it, presumably to make an over-the-phone payment to the power company. I hope they take the PayPal. Really, that was kind of an odd interruption. Lindsay is so close to escaping, but goes back for her BFF, who's still unconscious. You're gonna regret this? She really does make a heroic effort, I have to say, but she still can't outrun a dart gun. Well, time for the operation. I really hope it's not too graphic. It's graphic. When you think about it, this is going to be a lot of work for one surgeon. He seems satisfied, but exhausted. But it's that good kind of exhausted. I mean, that was a lot of work. It's Miller time. I have to ask, how does he move them around? He's like Sid from Toy Story. Except with, you know, people. I did it! Drum roll, please. Haha! <laughs> they made fun of me at school, but who's the bot munch now? This is so going on Instagram. How to care for your human centipede. Be sure to crate at night. Your human centipede might complain at first, but your furniture will thank you. Teach your centipede tricks. Be careful, they bite. Discipline is important. Be sure to feed your human centipede regularly. Don't worry about the rest. Nature will take care of them. Eventually. Peter! We knew this was coming. Peter! We knew this was coming. It was in his frickin' diagrams. Yes, this is happening. If you want to turn away, I'll understand. Just turn the sound down. Leave the video running. I need the views. How do you come back from that? Ugh, sorry about that. Fuck you. And the doc has the nerve to complain that their sobbing is keeping him awake? Maybe you just need to tire him out during the day. And be sure to give your human centipede regular checkups. Constipated. Oh, thank God! The doc notices Jenny's getting sick. Oh, I did not need to see that. In case I censored it, it was pus. A lot of it. What you doing, son? Well, the cops show up, but I don't think they're going to be much help. Looks like he's got two replacements now. This must be the most soundproof building in the world. Wait here while I drug you. What? Nothing. Nothing suspicious here. Just drink this. I'd say he was losing it, but that ship sailed a long time ago. He really wants to add those cops. But before he can do anything else, they leave. And the human centipede is gone. Quick, check under the giant floor mat in the kitchen. How the hell are they going to do that? He's got to admire their progress. My God, this man is weird. Show him what a human centipede can do when backed into a corner. Or just give a passionate speech. He believes this is his punishment. The type of hell his past actions brought upon himself. So he just takes the easy way out. How else is he going to feed her? No, 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 no. We're not going there. We're not going to do that. I'm so sorry. Well, the cops came back. Looks like the game is over. Sorry to disturb you. Please go back to your... Uh... Smoke bomb! Off camera, the doctor takes out one of the cops. But our hero arrives in time to save the... Oh... Okay, that's better. I just hope they called for backup. Meanwhile, at the centipede, Jenny isn't looking so hot. She dies, leaving Lindsay all alone. Really? We're gonna end like this? No sirens in the distance, no... This is how it ends? Ah, <sighs> yes so. And that was the human centipede. So, who's hungry? You always hear about the tourist in a foreign country who knocks on the wrong door and terrible things happen. Who would have seen this coming? It's like something your crazy grandmother would scare you with. 
You better be quiet, or I'll sew your mouth to someone's butt. Our main victims start off as normal people, usually slain one by one in another horror movie. But rather than dying, they're kept alive and tortured continuously. The nightmare begins at the presentation, and once the centipede happens, it never really ends. They're reduced to barely human. Once the procedure is over, all their communication is through agonizing screaming and sobbing. Katsuro only speaks Japanese, and he's not understood by anyone else in the movie. This lack of communication also reinforces how the doctor sees this as a pet. Your dog barks, but you don't understand him. But that doesn't stop you from talking to him and giving him commands. Right, buddy? The doctor is clearly insane. But he's a villain for villainy's sake. He wants to reverse his life's work. But why? We know almost nothing about him. The cops are useless, as usual in these movies. But I think this guy could have saved the day if the girls only gave in to his charms. Is this a scary movie? The idea that someone would kidnap you and mutilate you is pretty terrifying. But this movie isn't scary in the traditional horror sense. The chills come from the gore, from the idea. It makes you queasy, and they don't shy away from the imagery. If a horror movie doesn't outright scare the audience, it should try to make the audience feel uneasy, in which it does. I can't look away from this movie, and I often regret it. Don't look for character development. This is torture porn, pure and simple. But it doesn't claim to be anything else, so mission accomplished. It takes a bit to get to the actual centipeding, but the buildup is agonizing. Once you know what's coming, you're squirming in your seat until the reveal. But by then, it loses some of that tension, but it's replaced with revulsion. The human centipede is 1B. It's gross, it's dreary, and nightmarishly outlandish. It spawned two sequels, second sequence and final sequence. So somebody's going to ask me to review the other ones, I know it. But tell you what, if this review breaks 2,000 views, I'll do one of the sequels. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. You know, all that typical YouTube stuff everyone says. This is The Newbie. I'll see you later, kids. Toodles!